Hello and welcome back to Settlement Survival, where we left off. We were upgrading all sorts of villas and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. I think we need to take a moment and just reflect on how difficult it was for as long as we played to maintain a stable amount of food. And now we're just absolutely crushing it. Uh, there's nothing even resembling famine and we're pushing a little more into the simple and fancy foods now. So I do think it's making quite a big difference. Plenty of water. I, I would like to like move into coffee and cocoa and, and all that stuff, but in, in due time, we do now have the ability with Carlos to trade and get different types of seeds back so that is what i'm currently working on is just trading like four or five things at a time and just uh bringing back a couple different seeds to plant i don't even know if we're going to plant some of the stuff but just to unlock them and, and have them unlocked we are growing uh cocoa seeds over here uh which currently i don't think we're using anywhere uh, I could be wrong, but I don't think I'm currently using the cocoa beans anywhere. We're just kind of stockpiling them at the moment. I would like to make cocoa, and that could be a nice little <clears throat> beverage drink that makes people happy. Uh, I almost missed this here. Or no. Did we already do this trade? I feel like we must have already done this trade because... Yeah, there's really nothing here. I would be buying anyway. So that's fine. Uh, there's nothing on the time timeline here until the next merchant ship. So. Oh, no. We lost. <laughs> we just lost. A ton of money and resources. So. It's definitely not good. Uh, what do we want to buy? We could buy all sorts of different seeds here. Tea seeds would be good because we're gonna need those tea um tea shops at some point. Coffee seeds. The rest of this is just like kind of nice to have. I don't think we need any of it. Let's see how far we get with 8,000. We'll do a purchase on those. And then raw materials. We're kind of light on salt. Not completely. But um, cotton as well. So we're actually using some of the stuff, which is good. Plain cocoa sells for nothing. We have plenty of fat. So I guess that's good. Let's go through our trade goods first. 21. 4. We must have just recently sent something because we are extremely low on a lot of this stuff. Well, let's try to sell some of this. Let's, uh, what's that, 921? All right, let's send that out its way. See what happens. We do have a lot of homeless people right now. I'm wondering if it makes sense to build anything else. Uh, we are currently building this this structure here that will give us an unlimited sized graveyard, which we don't currently have. Um, I don't even want to attempt to pronounce that. Um, I know I, I, I watch a lot of Civ 6 videos on YouTube and uh, Ursa Ryan, one of the streamers I watch, does refer to this as the chicken pizza. Uh, 
I definitely know that's not its actual name, but um, it will be an unlimited size graveyard. But man, the amount of resources it takes is is so much. It's gonna take us a long time to make that many of the different things we need. We probably need to upgrade this, so I will just to get the senior quarry into a permanent quarry that we don't have to worry about running out. We have a lot of money starting to bank up here. Tech point wise, I the tea shop is right here. That gives us coffee, cocoa, or tea leaves into drinks for trading. I think that might be a good purchase. Uh, specifically because we just unlocked, or we unlocked a bunch of cocoa, and we also are purchasing tea as part of this caravan run. Assuming that all goes okay. I should have probably bought the insurance, but I didn't. So we'll see if we get kind of screwed on that or if that works out okay. I did want to, a little counterintuitive, but I did want to demolish these three houses here and build another garden villa. Well, two garden villas, because I for the three houses, I could build two garden villas. That does give us a net gain of people. Or I should say space for people. Uh, yeah, it is facing that way. Okay. I'm assuming at some point they'll actually do the demo that I'm asking them to do. Let's get the uh, the tea shop activated while we wait. I think the tea shop can go down here. Do a little cut stone road going there. We're not poor anymore. We can afford cut stone, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I do think we probably need a warehouse over in this area. We don't need this hunter's hut anymore, I don't think. Let's go ahead and demolish that. We could replace it with some sort of warehouse over here. <clears throat> oh, this is a mountain warehouse. That's the biggest warehouse you could possibly get right next to it. So that, never mind. I guess I don't need a warehouse. Okay, did we destroy these houses yet? We did. So let's build ourselves a couple garden villas. All right, gotta rotate. Okay. So that at least gets us more in the right direction. Though I don't think we have enough silver cutlery for both of them. Unless they've already pulled that count, because it says 12. All right, so this is getting finished. It's almost done. Then we'll have unlimited stone. We don't have to worry about stone ever again in the future. And then the tea shop. I do want to increase the priority of that. We have resources for it. I, I do want to get people going in there. Uh, I feel like we're getting close to the cap here. For students, we should probably build another school. I'm going to build two. Not that I think we necessarily need to, but I guess it's better to have it than not have it. These don't have a radius, do they? No, neither of them do. 
Is there a police station down here? Yes, there is. Bamboo into paper. I mean, I guess that could be useful. Okay. Stone is the only thing you can make. So why would it be anything other than stone? I don't know. That is a little weird. Administrator's term has expired. Uh, I guess we'll take the tombstone time away, even though we're not doing anything with tombstones at the moment. I do need to bump up that brick production. Where are we currently making bricks? I don't even know where we're making them. I mean, I imagine it's somewhere close to the... The sand pit, right? It's right here. Kiln factory. I mean, I do have the ability to terraform. A little, little goofy looking, but if it fits, I guess that's all that matters. All right, that should do it. Scroll through this massive list. I guess it would be under ore, right? Yeah, it is. If we get this built, we can <coughs> get those bricks churned out a little quicker. I think that would be a, a net gain overall. Let's go ahead and start with cocoa since we already have that in stock. Is there any water over here? Doesn't look like it. So water is going to be brought from wherever that's at. The other side of the map, I would assume. Yeah, there's a ton of water over here. We should probably, yeah, keep some water in this transfer station. Probably want to do like two thousand. Yeah, that'd be that'd be good. Just that way we have have it relatively close by. We can get to it quickly. We're gonna have to build probably a couple more of these once we get tea and and all that up and running. We are still shy 15 houses. We did get these built. Building more. I don't know. Like if I built something here, it is partially in the circle. So I don't know if that counts as in range or not. Well, let's see. It says it can only be built in marketplaces. I mean, it seems to be counting it. Is that our caravan returning home? It does appear to be. There we go. We should have 
Yep. Unlocked a couple more crop seeds. Which is perfect. Now, the question is, where do we... Okay, so tea and coffee are both grown in nurseries. So I guess it's a good thing we have this odd lake here. Because water nursery is going to be... All right, Cutstone Road. Slap that down here. We'll do a couple tea. We'll do a couple coffee. And we'll get a couple of these structures built um, right over there, too. I think we do... Just like that. And then they can get their resources right there. Water's still a little bit far away, but that's all right. There's at least plenty of it to go around. All right. Let's get some more bricks going here. Because that's something that definitely has to be done. Uh, glass bottles. I don't think we need them at the moment. Although maybe. Didn't, didn't something down here use glass bottles? I can't remember. Traveling merchants here. I don't know if that's worth... You know, it's it's a thousand coins. And we just get some free luxury food out of it. So I guess that's all right. It'll make people probably a little happier for a while. All right, the schools are done. We are not um, exhausting all of the student population. So, we have more schools than we actually need. Alright, what else can we do here? Sugar. Are we growing sugar anywhere? I don't know if we are. Boarding school. might be worth doing this while we're we might as well finish up the education tree because we're kind of running out of things to research and what's the point after we've already researched everything right so Oh, wow. So this is massive. I'm going to slap that down there. We're going to see how that goes. All right. Furniture factory. It's all luxury furniture. Let's get some regular furniture just so I can build that. I think that'll be fine. All right. Everything is going pretty well here. We do have these built. Let's get some tea going in these first couple. Right, we are moving right along. What's going on here? Are you out? You're not out of material, right? Oh, I don't want to limit the bricks. I want like 500 of these things. 
I oh, I wonder if that's why we never got past a certain... Yeah, yeah, look at that. Cut stone was limited. That's why. I would have never thought. All right, so we got cocoa, we got tea. Let's get the coffee going. Right, you're making tea. You're going to make coffee. Hopefully we get it just in time for the uh, season to change and us uh, to plant the, the growing. Plant the growing. Yes, that's what I said. No, to plant the, uh, the all the crops that will be growing here. All right. Are we making any progress here? We are. We made a lot of bricks. We still have more to go, but we're getting pretty close. Which is good because people are getting upset because they're having to bury their families or that there is no place to bury their families. All right, here we go. Coffee. All right, that should be everyone. That should be everything that's needed. We do have a merchant ship. Let's take a pause and look at it real quick. Okay. There is sugar cane. We do need sugar at some point. But I don't think that time is now. We are making medical soap. What does the Christmas hat do? Just clothing, right? Temperature 5. I mean... Do we need anything else at the moment? Not really. I mean, medicinal oil, maybe? Let, let's see how much we have here. All right, so we could buy... like a thousand medicinal oils and then maybe like not not a hundred like 20 30 I mean I guess I could just you know the couple extra bucks there we go. <laughs> Get some Santa hats and a bunch of medicinal oil. We have plenty of herbs now. So that should increase our colony's health for sure. We should be making some furniture here. For some reason, we're not. And I'm not sure why. It says lack of raw materials. We, we are not. We're not out of timber. We have plenty of timber. What the heck? Oh, lather. We're out of lather. All right. The leather just comes right from the animals, right? Yes. Uh, as these pigs come up. Oh, they don't, they don't give leather. Oh, no. Great harvest event. Uh, let's do a cut stone road here.
Okay. We should probably make all of our roads, at least all the main roads, cut stone. All right, that's enough for now. I'm sure they'll make more. We definitely need more leather. I wonder what uses the leather. Maybe the chairs for the furniture? I don't know. In any case, we need a lot more of it. I think most of it's getting eaten up by well no it can't be the jackets that's using like seal fur and stuff maybe sandals no back packs that's cotton cloth what about boots am i making boots anywhere I mean, maybe it's just these buildings. Maybe these leather shops are just eating it all up to do the refined leather. All right, what is this making? How much is it making? Just a relatively small amount. We haven't gotten a full crop of tea or coffee yet, so that's not too surprising that hasn't happened. Let's go ahead and form another caravan. What do we want to buy this time? Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just buy more seeds. Sugar cane. Because we're going to need sugar. Sugar beets. Um, I guess that's good for now. Let, let's see, forty eight hundred. I think we're gonna we're gonna sell a lot more than that. So let's see what we have to sell. Sixty two. One hundred two. Don't really want to sell too much of the silver cutlery because I think we're going to need that. Good raw materials. Yeah, we could sell a lot of this. Uh, it's like 11 88. Yeah, okay, so we're selling a lot like 17,000. So that means we could buy more. We might as well just buy everything that we can just to unlock it. Okay. That's plenty of seeds. Let's unlock all of it. Wow, that is an abundant field I don't think we want any immigrants we have plenty of laborers we're still we still don't have enough houses okay we do have a boarding school which is kind of crazy school age children will live and study there Kids are getting lobster at this boarding school. <clears throat> Man, they're spoiled. All right. We did get another tech point. We are finishing our first uh, yield of tea and coffee. I think it is one of those abundant years, though, so we're, we're probably going to get an abnormal quantity of them. 
or of it, which is fine, but you can't expect that to be the norm. Uh, oh, I put that there. That's not an event. All right, our piggies are coming along. They're five, five out of ten. So we're gonna start getting some ham. Research progress. Okay, we said we were gonna finish off the development is rapid, and you gain three technology points. That just uh, that just handed us technology points. So I guess we'll just finish off the research tree entirely. Let's finish off mining. The Jade House. Can find Jade in stone, so we'll put that by a stone mine. Ah, some uh, some reputation. All right, so we've already finished all that off. We could lower stress by ten percent. Just do that and get get it done with. All right, so that's got to be under ore, right? The Jade House. So we should probably put that. Somewhere over here. I think we're going to need to do a little more terraforming. All right. Jade house slapped down. <clears throat> Okay, this is not done, but they're actually building it now, which is a good thing. Nobody's using this boarding school. How is the whole book situation coming along? Okay, we have plenty of books in reserve. Which means we're nothing's overutilizing them. Uh, these should all be using paper. Why would you not? Yes, everybody should use paper. Okay. What's going on over here? They're just dropping stuff on the ground because there's no room for it. All right, I could switch this back to luxury furniture because we got what we needed out of that whole situation. We do have coffee being produced. Our tea. Okay, so we did get like a thousand tea. So it's just a matter of making the actual tea now from the from the tea leaves. All right, so I think we made some decent progress here. This is finally built. So now we should have an unlimited graveyard. Uh, that is a definite success, I think. Um, what else did we do? We built another brick maker because... We needed so many bricks for that thing. We did upgrade the deep quarry to an unlimited quarry. That'll make as many stones as we will ever need. Uh, we did make get coffee and tea and build shops to do each of those things. Uh, we unfortunately uh, lost all our goods, it looks like, twice this episode. Um, doing the caravan with two very expensive loads so i need to learn my lesson there 
and start buying insurance. Uh, and we are unlocking more and more seeds as we go along. So I think that leaves us in a pretty good spot to end the episode here. We are building a Jade house, uh, which is something new uh that should allow us to like get jade from stone now that we have unlimited stone that should not be a problem at all uh, and that will let us uh make you know maybe jade statues instead of iron statues and we'll end up getting just much better quality uh more stuff that we could sell for a lot more money uh in the hopefully near future so i think that should do it for today Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next episode. If you like the episode, please consider liking and subscribing the video. We'll see you in the next one.